Next is the message bus. And the idea of the message bus is to provide a common communication platform which can be used to send and receive messages. How does this look like? Like this. We have a common communication platform between all components and all components send their messages to the message bus. The message bus then does something with these messages, transfers it to the corresponding receiver, which receives the message again. And this could go in both directions, of course. It could be that this message bus gets quite crowded down here. Let's talk about the benefits and drawbacks. We have a unified communication platform and protocol. Everyone communicates in the same way, which is a cool thing. Then communication can be controlled according to priority. Some services or some nodes can have higher priority and some get lower priority. Also, if the bus gets crowded, we could do some congestion control or some arbitration here. Message buses could prioritize some messages over others or some nodes over others. And we have a single interface for communication. So one network connection is enough. We don't need multiple network connections or multiple different buses. Especially think of automotive industry. In cars, we only have one bus one common communication bus and every device is connected to this bus. So you don't have to build in so much cavers. What are the drawbacks? Again, we have a single point of failure here. If someone cuts this one cable, then nobody can communicate anymore or only those on the segments can communicate. But depending on the protocol, it could be that everything fails. Also, the bus could be a bottleneck. If every message gets transferred over the message bus, it's easy to overwhelm it by doing broadcasting or having a babbling idiot in your message bus. A component which has an endless loop or is stuck in an endless loop and sends messages over and over again. What about security issues? If anyone can connect to this message bus, this also means that anyone can read all the messages which are sent over this bus. How can this be avoided? Always think of doing end-to-end -end encryption. The communication protocol is forced. We force any communication partner to use the same protocol. And this protocol may be inefficient. For example, it may include some header data, some footer data. It may include padding. It may include encryption, security information, priority information, quality of service information, and so on. And maybe some single application doesn't need all this stuff. Depending on the protocol, this can be quite inefficient, but many protocols are pretty dynamic here and cope for this.